has Spitfire been lying about their soft sliders? Okay, it's a video you've all been waiting for. Today we are testing the true durometer of wheels. And we once and for all will find out has Spitfire been lying about their soft sliders? So we're gonna do that. Got yeah, right here is this fancy Shore A durometer gauge. So this one goes up to 100. It will go past 100. Um, I bought two of them. The other one was the wrong one. It was like Shore D or something. So I just wanted to try to get this right. But yeah, we got an assortment of wheels. We got these 99 Spitfire 101 little boogers. It's not Wheelco. And then I guess the true ones that we'll find out here is uh, we've got the Bones X97s, the X99s, some 99 the Ashad wheels, Spitfires Formula 4, and the Soft Sliders. So, without further ado, let's get to the testing. We are zeroed. Zeroed. First one we're going to do here is the little buggers. The little bugs, little buggies. So these are supposed to be 101s. And uh, granted, I know this video is not going to be for everybody, but I dork out on this stuff. Okay. Hold. So there's a hold button. So the little boogers, they come in at 102.5. So much harder than what they're advertised and you know i'm curious if like size or anything has anything to do with that but it shouldn't it's the urethane it should be hard the same hardness no matter what size so yeah 105 or 102.5 all right x97s we're zeroed let the test begin interesting i mean Okay, and granted all these wheels have been skated, so I don't know if that truly matters, I don't think it should, but the 97s are coming in at 98, and you know, maybe there's some margin for error in this thing, I don't know, but that's pretty close, that's pretty close, so by far probably overall my favorite, favorite wheels, but that has been changing a little bit. Alright, let's zero her out, and then we'll go for the X99. And pretty much all these wheels are in 52 millimeter. It should not matter. But go for the X99s here. Zero or out. X99s coming in at 99.5. 99.5. Very, very close. Very, very close. So, also another great wheel. These Bones wheels, those X formulas are just too hard to beat. Um, technically, I could do another uh, review on these Spitfire wheels because I've recently went back to some 97 durometer X Formula wheels and they're better. So, there's my review. They feel better. So much better. So much better. Formula 4 99D A, whatever they like to call it because of their stuff is kind of weird. The D and the A and all that stuff. So let's get these going. All right. So the Spitfire 99 Formula Fours come in at 100, which seems to be kind of the the theme so far. Everyone's coming. Everyone is coming in above slightly. So the 99s are at 100. This does go by 0.5 increments. So. You know, it could be just above 99.5, who knows, who knows. But all of them have been slightly above. These, the little boogers were a whole one and a half above. So that's kind of, that's kind of interesting. And I, I do take multiple readings to see if I can get the same, you know, if it's getting the same thing, you have to push down this all the way. So there we go, 100 again, 100 again. So. Yeah, I have taken multiple ones on these ones. I've been waiting for the soft sliders though because I was testing these out to see if I was getting 
um, similar similar things. And just for shits and giggles, we're gonna try another Formula Four 99 Duro and see what this guy goes at. And it's it's fluctuating. But if I hold it steady, 99.5. So and it was go, jumping in between 99.5 and 100. So that's pretty close to the other one. So the formulas are consistent. So that is good across the board. In the moment you all have been waiting for, a Spitfire been lying to you about the real hardness of their soft sliders. They market them at 93. I always said that I could be proven wrong here. It's been very hard not to test these wheels, so I do it. Ooh, but we're gonna test them. I believe that they are harder and it was marketing to try to compete with the Dragon wheels because those, that is just my belief. Other people believe it too. And then now, we will find out. We are zeroed. We have soft sliders. And we are going to test them. Ha! <laughs> Let me get another couple. Oh, oh no, oh no. These skaters are all about feel, right? What's a guess? So you leave down in the comments. What do you think these ones actually test at? Boom! That's right. Every reading I got around the wheel, I was getting 99. That is, that is higher than I expected. Spitfires do tend to feel harder than than their uh, what they're rated at. I was expecting more like a 96, maybe 95. I felt like they felt just like the X97s, but the X97s and the X99s feel, to me, I don't feel much of a difference. It's just that slight, slight hard. I don't know, my gauge could be wrong, but that's why I tried it over all these different wheels. These were slightly higher. Everything was slightly, slightly higher, but 99. When they claim a 93, that's not slightly higher. That's not margin of error. That is six durometer hardnesses higher, however it's measured. So that is quite a bit harder. So I think they should stop calling them 93s. What do you guys think? Let me know. I don't want to break anybody Spitfire fanboy's hearts or anything over this. I just wanted to test it. And get the information out there, get the truth out there. These are facts. Unless this thing's biased, I don't know. But that's a number on a scale that measures hardness. And uh, that's it. I'm gonna even do it one more time. Sorry, I've been playing a lot of Zelda lately. So we got, you know, yeah, it's lower, 98.5, but it, is it really that much better? I was getting 99, 98, 98.5. It's still, it is what it is. They are still great wheels. Like, don't get me wrong, these wheels feel amazing because I love the X99s and the X97s, but they're lying about what they are. That's just that simple. Still a great wheel. They need to come out this wheel formula, soft slider, in this shod wheel shape, and yeah, I get it. Just don't call them 93s because they're not 93s. Stop lying to the people. That's all I ask. Keep it real. But yeah, if you made it this far, so I'm gonna try out some new wheels. I am no longer sober from my skateboard setup. And so, it is a slight difference, but I'm gonna be going with the old Bones X99 54 millimeters. I've been skating 52s for quite a while, but I kinda wanna try some 54s to see about how the lock-in feels, just more experimentation, I guess, and it's not, it's not a huge jump. It kinda, it kind of is, but it kinda isn't. So, and I want the X99s because I've been skating these Ashad wheels that are 99 Spitfires and uh, I wanted something similar close in feeling and these wheels 
feel so much better on the streets than Formula 4 99s, in my opinion. Crusty parking lots, anything like that. So, and like I said, not a huge difference between the 97s and the 99s. So I want the 99s. Maybe one day I'll get the 97s, but it was more about the size. I did accidentally order 52s, but I think I hit the wrong button. And I'm 54s. I already have these wheels, so I'm thinking about doing a, uh, a giveaway for these wheels, which is basically the wheels I've been skating for a long time. Probably the best wheel ever, whether you get this in an X97 or an X99. So I'm thinking about doing a giveaway. I'm not sure exactly how to do that. It'd be the first giveaway on the channel. Um, I will get back to you guys on that one. But if you have any ideas about an easy way to do like a, a giveaway or something like that, uh, let me know in the comments. Let me know what you think about the Spitfires. Lying to you people, being mischievous. Shame on you, Spitfire. But yeah, so that was it. The truth is out there and you got it from me. Glad I could finally debunk this. I've been wanting to make this video for a while and now it is made. So on that note, I will see you guys on the next round.